new beginning of blending art, culture, architecture and tradition was conceived here on this place. This is the Institute of Fine Arts, Dhaka University, commonly known as Charukala, designed by architect Majharul Islam, the pioneer of modern architecture in Bangladesh and the father of Bengali modernism. This masterpiece was his first architectural endeavor and one of the two major buildings Islam designed in 1952 when he returned home from University of Oregon. The famous artist Joinal Abedin, being the director of the institute at that time, played a significant role in realization of the project through his involvement and support to the maestro. Marveling millions around the world, the devotion and craftsmanship of these two legends stands as an architectural jewel on the northern boundary of the Dhaka University campus. The simplicity in the geometry of the plan makes it a space within a park opening in all directions. There are flow to ceiling sunbreakers on the southern faces of the administrative building, which reminds us the modernism, environmental sensitivity and openness of the space. A relationship between urban life and building has been created with this unique setting. It's a dialogue between nature and architecture. It's a romance between light and air. The entrance is through the open ground floor with lean circular columns and custom perforated walls in two directions. During winter, these walls cast a dramatic shadow on the floor from south. This entrance space on columns gives the vibe of the open pavilions of Mughal architecture. A little farther inside, the iconic sculptural open stair with a background of solid brick wall which creates a dramatic movement of light and shadow of the trees leads to the administrative offices from the entrance space and connects the two levels around a wonderful internal courtyard. At every step on this stairwell, with varying perspectives, one can sense the transcendence through time and nature with joys and happiness. The entrance pavilion is linked with the classroom block by a bridge at the west side in north-south direction. Here, the blend of natural and man-made spaces is spontaneous and visually effortless. Exposed brick is used for the walls that were made specially to the design and specification of the architect himself. As Mr. Islam said, Kajarambo, how shall I? Do to Jinsku, 
ईट किंतु ढाकाते अनेक पुरुनो ये व्यापार इटे व्यापार होचे उनको भले ही तोड़ी होतो किंतु त्वाशत्तो जेट कोयला दी काट दी पुरी ये ये ईट गुनो फंगस ग्रोथ होतो तेईस समय मेकैनिकली तो ये निकारा किची इटे ये आरंभ होलो जेट गैस दी करे पुरी ये करतो जाते पांच परसेंट बेशी पानी अब्सर्व करतो ना प्रामी और स्पेसिफिक The climate-sensitive design is not only functional, but also has its own pictorial language. The smaller horizontal wooden louvers act as drop walls along the corridors of the academic building to block the sun and the circular perforated concrete block is used as a railing. This perforated concrete screen is a traditional climate-responsive element of this warm, humid environment which is usually used in the southern part of the building. As a waste treatment, the floor-to-ceiling wooden panel has been carefully incorporated to cut the sunlight and afternoon with visual transparency. The semicircular wing surrounding a circular pond at the edge of the academy block is quite unique and highly respected by context that had originated from environmental analysis. Here, nature is reserved and grows spontaneously with the edge of the building. In the open space to the north, there is a bokul tree that is strongly associated with the culture of this place. Students gather here on various occasions, especially on the first of Boisha, the beginning of the Bengali New Year, when the place is made open to the public, became one of the hottest spots of the capital for annual gathering. The northern face of the building is more transparent, direct and corridor free to enjoy the northern diffused light from inside and the great view of outside when the sunlight casts a shadow over the north. The appreciation of this project is only complete when one considers its time and place. While the post-war era of the 1950s saw new ideas in architecture, finding expression mainly in Europe and North America, here, in another corner of the world, there was this building that epitomized the modern movement, blending serene rural simplicity with sartorial urban sensitivity. Such timeless design by Mr. Islam turned this institution into a place of cultural movement, a place for expression of freedom, a source of inspiration for creative minds. The sunset beyond the pond touches its last light on the building with the spirit of a new day. A new beginning, symbolic to the movement Mr. Islam envisioned as a dreamer and as a quiet revolutionary.